I want to share a story with you. One of the most popular songs on TikTok is Miss You by Oliver Tree. I was talking to some friends about how this song has taken over social media and our lives. They had no idea what I was talking about. I was shocked. What do you mean? You don't know the song? So I played the first part for them. Nothing. So I played the next part. Nothing. So then I played the 15 second TikTok clip. Suddenly, it's all, of course I know that song. How could I not? The fact that they didn't even know the name of the song was mind blowing to me. So today, I argue that the depth, meaning, and emotional impact that music can have on us is at risk of being stifled in the modern music landscape dominated by streaming and trends. Now, I see that we have some people who are slightly older than eighth grade. So, so let me explain this complex world of TikTok. TikTok is the newest and probably most influential social media to have ever landed on society's doorstep. 60% of TikTok users are 16 to 24, Gen Z, and according to Dataprop, they on average spend 95 minutes per day scrolling mindlessly through these videos. But there are thousands of people spending way more than that. People are addicted to TikTok because of its targeted and precise algorithm. There are even YouTube videos from musicians on how to hack the algorithm and get more views, or what they should write their songs about to get those views. Musicians promote their music on TikTok in some of the most ridiculous ways. Some most notable being, what if there was a song that, or writing a song in 10 minutes using three random words, which, you guessed it, aren't random at all. Now to understand why music has changed so much, we have to look at the economics of music. Streaming providers pay their artists based on the number of streams their music receives. This enhances the likelihood of receiving additional streams, resulting in increased revenue. The music industry has since moved away from selling physical records and towards generating that revenue through digital channels, which include streaming services. In the Recording Industry Association of America's full year 2019 revenue report, there is a massive difference between how much streaming contributed to in 2009 versus 2019. Physical revenue went from 59% to 10%, while streaming went from 5% to 79%. Do you remember that TikTok song I was talking about at the beginning? If we go on Spotify and check how many streams this song has, it's an astounding 523 million. Yet those same people who streamed it couldn't name it. He is selling out because of this one verse, these 15 seconds. There are artists, however, that do not have this problem. For example, Taylor Swift. She has a loyal fan base, knows who her listeners are, knows her music style, and can make 500 million someone sit down and listen to a 10-minute song. TikTok artists can't do that. They must constantly adapt to the current music climate, hoping to get another viral hit. TikTok's algorithm has led to a surge in micro-hits, songs that blaze into popularity for their catchy short snippets but often fade away just as quickly. And there have been so many popular songs in the past few years that I worry that the next generation will only have these snippets to enjoy. If you go on Spotify and check for the top TikTok hits, you will realize a lot of them are based around mundane and unimaginative topics. This includes taking everyday objects and writing a song based around them. For example, in Salem Elise's song, PS5, when she asks her boyfriend whether he likes her or his PS5 more. Or when her song, Mad at Disney, streamed 300 million times, aims at Disney for defining what love should look like. And artists use these gimmicks to entice us as a society 
to give in to new trends and popular public opinion. And these types of songs shoot to fame very quickly, but they won't last very long. Now, not to say that these songs aren't good, but some of the only songs my generation listens to from start to finish and fully indulges in are ABBA, Take On Me, and I'm Still Standing. These classics didn't have the benefits and downsides of TikTok's 15-second videos. Nowadays, we are losing the meaning of music and the impact it can have on our lives. So, in celebration of National Music Day today, I challenge you, sit down, put on an album, and allow yourself to get lost in the story.